Kirsten Newman salvages one game in a three in a three game series with Wingate with a two one victory in the series finale. Andrew Rogers here with head coach Tom Griffin for the Eagles Sports Network. Uh, coach, first two games didn't go your way. The first one didn't uh, today as well. 10-8 loss. It was a close game. Uh, had to sit through a two hour rain delay. Guys regrouped. Uh, and really the story of the series finale was the pitching. Griff Hughes, Hunter Harrison uh, running out of adjectives to describe what they've been able to do. Uh, what was so critical to their success on the mound. Uh, when you saw an offense and Wingate pound together uh, a bunch of hits and runs in the first two games to silence them there in the uh, final game of the series. That, that's a product of, listen, good experience. have been through a lot of games, ups and downs. We talked about that. Yep. They've had their shares of uh, getting punched in the mouth. And um, they worked extremely hard. Coach Tangle, Coach Sofield have done a tremendous job in continuing their growth. And then I think it comes down to a guy like Spencer Bright. Uh, outstanding catcher, called the great game. The blocks, the game savers he had late there. Not many catchers are making those plays. Uh, has a good feel. Uh, so th that's a combination of a lot of things right there. Uh, great ball game, a really good club. You're right, you had to sit through both teams for a while and then try to kick it back up. Thought both pitchers did a great job. Their bullpen did a great job. Fortunate to get at least a one run ahead of them. And then it was pitching and defense. That play Trey Miller made right there, I mean, that was the game save. Uh, that was it, that ball was absolutely smoked. Uh, it's a good player there, and uh, Trey, great play. We've been playing good defense, uh, and pitching in defense is what that was. Now, game one, you know, listen, I thought we played all right. I mean, you know, we got beat up a little bit, but me and you were talking about this. You know, 10 8 ball game in the eighth. We're, we just score to make it 10 8. And I look down here in the bullpen, and I've got, looks like a bus stop, where there's like five, six people hanging around waiting for the bus to pull up not even recognizing we just scored to get within two against Wingate. And they're just sitting there like bumps on the log. And that that cannot happen. We had talked about this. This group will not allow complacency and all that. Well, they did. They did allow it. They allowed it them themselves and they had teammates who allowed guys to sit in this bullpen, not even recognize we scored and can't even get excited about that. Um, and they missed the bus. They got to sit on the bus is what they got to do. The bus didn't go anywhere. They just got to sit on it. Um, but to respond like that, great job on the part of our guys right there. The first two games were all about offense. You mentioned the pitching and defense. What did you like about the defense mostly? Uh, really all weekend it was good, but it obviously came of importance uh, in the series finale. What was so critical about uh, your team's defense that has progressed throughout the year today? Well, I think the big part is is, is when we put Gibson at short, Miller at second, I think it, it, it helped Trey to kind of be a little bit, uh, there's a lot of responsibilities at short. He's new to it. Yep. And I think he's been much better at second base. He's so athletic. He's a freakish athlete. And Gibson's been solid. And I think Logan Floyd, we've seen make, listen, here's what you got to do. Make the routine plays and have a chance to make a great play. Yep. And, and that's what they've been able to do. Make routine plays. Don't get beat by the routine play and you got a chance of winning ball games. Uh, Harrison Travis, three home runs this weekend, obviously one in the series finale there. Uh, what did you like about your offense all weekend, but yeah. particularly there to manufacture two good runs when their starter was A lot there. of hard contact. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of hits, but we hit the ball hard. Yes. I mean, like I said, that's a really good offensive club, a lot of veterans, and I thought we matched pretty well. I thought we hit the ball very well, and Travis is playing on a bum knee, to be quite honest with you. I mean, he's banged up, but he's been able to put together a great year. So very happy for him. And we had some guys in the bottom pause, Spencer Bright, a couple of hits down there. We were able to generate. I thought Will Gibbs getting a start back-to-back -back games had really good at-bats. Uh, the hit and run, he's a guy who can do a lot of situational hitting runs well. And he played a good outfield today. It's a new position for him, and he handled it well.